Good morning. It's Leanne Peters here. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm here to share some guidance for this week, uh, for Monday and Tuesday. Um, I'm coming to you live from City Park in Launceston, Tasmania. Um, Corey and I are heading home today. We had national uh, the state band championships yesterday which went really well and um, it's a beautiful morning here in Launceston so hello to all of you from Launceston um, there's a leaf blower thing in the background so hopefully it's not too noisy and hopefully they go that direction <laughs> not this direction go that way um, so I trust that you're well and you've had a good weekend and you have a great um, week to come before I get into the Monday and Tuesday guidance, I first of all want to uh, grab some cards for the theme for the week ahead. So if you recall, my theme cards for this last week just gone were connected with coming out of hiding and clearing private issues and to stop holding ourselves back. So to stop hesitating and sort of waiting back. So I don't know if that applied for you in the last seven days if you've been stepping out of hiding clearing things that are quite private to you and um, allowing yourself to step forward just that little bit more so I'm looking for the I'm going to find two cards now for the theme for the week ahead the whole week Monday to Sunday um, I don't know what the date is for Sunday it was hard enough for me to get the dates for today because I left my paper at home Come on, come on, little leaf blower, go the other direction. <laughs> I think they're coming this way. Sounds like it to me. <laughs> so I trust you well. Extra special welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light family, and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thanks so much for your support. So our two cards for the theme for the week ahead are i'm going to take them straight off the top so first of all we'll look at this card speed of light this is indigo card 18 and it says um <laughs> new children innocence fun magic and birth so this is about new pathways opening up for us for the next week so this is part of our theme for the week ahead there's also a childlike playful energy but allowing ourselves to look um, broader to look wider to look at more opportunities more potentials for ourselves that there might be more options than we realize so new pathways these are options that are coming up with that card and then the other card it is an animal kingdom oracle card and it's ah it's the lion card 11 and it says be balanced with your responsibilities so this is very much about balance and making sure that we hold our balance and we maintain it this week but it's also about leading the way um, setting a good example and um, instead of complaining about something let's step up and start being an advocate for whatever it is that we're complaining about and we might find that appropriate for around our um, very close space so around in our relationships our home space our family our work environment so those close um, spaces that we tend to hang about in um, for some of the day or most of the part of the week uh, we'll probably find we want we might feel that we need to step up and lead the way so instead of complaining and um, actually Lynn if you're there I was gonna ring you and see if you're home today anyway I'll call you later <laughs> I'll call you soon um, so these are our theme cards for the week ahead our new pathways options solutions are there and look at how we can lead the way and be an advocate for whatever it is that's not working that we recognize that's not working so I trust that makes sense we'll see how it fits for our week ahead so I'm now using my combined card decks my speed of light oracle cards and my animal kingdom oracle and I'll be looking for the best card for the uh, for <laughs> for Monday the best card for Tuesday and then the best card for the theme for Monday and Tuesday that's the 16th and 17th of September so 
I'm not doing personal requests for guidance here today. This is general guidance for everyone. So I trust that you've been led here for a reason and I trust that something shared will be helpful and supportive for you. So just take on board what feels right and let the rest go. Let's see. So I'm looking for the best card now for Monday. I've got a shadow across my face. I'm sitting at the, um, some type of military thing. <laughs> I don't know what you call them now. I can't think. Uh, so it's casting a bit of a shadow, but it was the best space to be because the grass is a bit wet this morning. It's a bit damp, but uh, the oak trees all behind me here are all uh, in, uh, you know, bud. They're starting to get little leaves there at the end of their branches, which is really exciting. So spring is landing, or it's per perhaps landed. So I'm looking for month, the best card for Monday the 16th of September and it's this, it's an Animal Kingdom Oracle card and it's the bear card 43 and it says move out of the rut, move out of the rut it says. So if you felt like you've been in a rut lately, if things have felt stagnant or stuck for you or like you're holding back still and you're still holding back then Monday is a very supportive day for action to move out of the rut. So look at, you know, what can we apply? What self-control do we need to summon? Uh, what action do we need to take? What, um, what do we need to do to help rectify what's holding us back or what we're feeling stuck with? Um, so we can be a source of motivation for ourselves. Um, it's absolutely possible if we believe it to be so. So it will require some self-motivation to move out of the rut, to move out of the cave that we've been hiding in and um, step out a little bit more into our life. So, you know, sometimes it's just about getting up and, and instead of sitting back and procrastinating and overthinking things, um, just catch that procrastination st straight away and just get into whatever it is that we, we were procrastinating about or starting to procrastinate about. So we can hold ourselves in the rut by procrastinating, by sitting in that, that space. So it very much is a choice that we can make mentally to start getting back into control of our life. So the bear in, implies that we need some self-motivation on Monday, but that it is possible and is available to us if we're willing to let it be so. So that's the bear. If you have a special bond or connection with bear, then um, that's your own personal connection or message too. So look into what bear means to you if you really resonate with bear. And um, yeah, it'd be no accident that it's come up today. So. Uh, now I'm looking for the best card for Tuesday the 17th of September. So I'm coming to you live now from Launceston, a city park in Launceston, Tasmania, which is up the north of Tasmania. Um, so it's about a good two hour drive from where we live. And it is exactly, it's Monday the 16th at 8.43 a.m. So I'm looking for the best card now for Tuesday the 17th of September and it's another Animal Kingdom and it's this, it's the Doe card 41 and it says to feel deeply. So we've been encouraged on Tuesday to let ourselves feel and honour our sensitive side. Hopefully that's not too loud. The, the, uh, <laughs> the um, leaf blower things coming up my way, coming to the left. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, so we've been encouraged to let ourselves really feel. Can you hear me okay? <laughs> it feels very loud here, but it might not be picking up in the microphone as loud as I think. So basically, feel deeply is Doe's message for Tuesday. And this is very much about trusting our instincts and letting ourselves be sensitive and feel our way through, feel our way forward um, and flow with that uh, feeling and flow with that sensitivity and flow with our intuition a little bit more. So there's a soft sort of feminine feeling here. She's got her ears pricked up, this doe, so it feels to be important for us to pay attention to how we feel. 
on Monday. <laughs> Pay attention to how we feel and let that be our guide moving forward. So that's the dough for, for Tuesday. Feel deeply. Let's grab our cards now for the theme for Monday and Tuesday. The theme card will help bring these days together and help us see the bigger picture for Monday and Tuesday. So the theme card is this. It's a speed of light oracle and it's the dolphin action taking card 10. It says move on horizon forward and let go. This is about letting the sun set on old parts of our life that haven't been working for a while and allow the sun to rise on new parts of our life now that want to flourish, that want to blossom, that want to become part of our reality. So we have to stop propping the old door open with our foot. So there might be a part of us that wants us to close the old door, but a part of us that doesn't. So we're keeping that old door propped open with our foot, um, which means it's just probably trying to close, but our foot's in the way. And if we're trying to get new doors to open, but nothing much is happening or there's not much momentum or not much happening with that, it might mean that we've got some old doors that we've got to close first because we can't have all the bunch of old doors that we're propping open and expect new doors to um, open up as well. So we need to get our foot out of the door, the old door, and close it um, and have the courage to close these old doors now and let these parts of our life close and end. Let the sun set on these old parts of our life, our old part, these old parts of our being, to let stuff go. And yeah, it may be hard, especially if it's a new thing. If it's a new thing, it definitely is difficult, but it's not impossible. If it's been a while, um, you know, sometimes I, if I'm dealing with something, I ask myself, okay, I've been struggling with this for, say, six months. I've been trying to close this door. Do I want to still feel this same way that I feel about this today? Do I want to feel that in another six months' time or another six years' time? Um, or do I really want to just put this behind me now? So I have to, I look ahead at my timelines and ask myself if I still want to feel this way in another six months, another year, whatever. Um, and usually I say, no, <laughs> I don't want to feel this way now. I've got to close this door immediately. So, you know, we can make ourselves suffer with something that happened for a year, 10 years, 20 years, <laughs> 50 years. My goodness, some people really hold on to stuff. And, you know, there might be all the right, I guess, a good reasons in some ways um, because of what happened. But, um, you know, how much of our life are we going to put on hold and how much more time are we going to have this old stuff hover around and let it hover um, because it really can consume so much of our energy and so much of our potential. So this Monday and Tuesday are very favourable for closing old doors, getting our foot out of that door, um, slamming some doors shut, um, but also opening some new doors. And, um, you know, maybe we're blocking new doors from opening too. We might have our foot on the outside of the door um, or the inside, the, the door that's trying to open, but we've got our foot in the way because we're scared of the unknown or we're scared of what this door represents or what might change as a result of opening this door. So there might be the, you know, the new door for us to contemplate or the old door. So, uh, or there might be both. So see how you go, see how that resonates with you. This card's very much about action though. So it's not about any longer or at the moment. It's if we really want to see improvement and change and shifting the old and bringing in the new, um, we can't sit around and complain and keep telling the old story. That's um, just feeding that and keeping it in place. So we need to be active, proactive, if we really want to let the sun set on these old parts of our life now and let the sun rise on new parts. We have to have courage and take the action to do it. So let's stop our complaining. Let's stop uh, telling the old story. Let's stop making excuses because um, often we make excuses about why we can't shut that door or why um, 
but you know I think we sometimes need to just come to terms with it and recognize the facts and how we feel and that it's holding us back and often when we close old doors it really frees up um, the situation anyway so it can free it up and create a healthier connection or it can free free it up and just let it fade away from our life so if that's something that we are scared of happening then that might be something to look at why are we scared that this will potentially fade out of our life what's scary about that for us Um, because there might be something deeper that's going on so interesting our theme for Monday and Tuesday action taking uh, closing old doors opening new doors lots of great potential around at the moment Now I think the wind's getting up. So thanks so much for joining me. I've used a combination of my Speed of Light Oracle cards with my Animal Kingdom. And uh, these are available now on my website. If you want to learn more, please have a look at templeofbalance.com.au. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment or share if you're inspired to. And if you want to connect more privately, please send us a message through our website. If you have emailed or filled out a contact form over the weekend, we've obviously been away and I don't have email access on my phone by choice. So um, Corey will um, reply back to emails when we get home um, later on today. Um, If you want to learn more about me and the work that I do at Temple of Balance, please visit my website at templeofbalance.com.au. I'm going to take you for a wander. I've got to walk back through the park to get back to the hotel and my car. So I'm going to walk, uh, take you for a little trip back with me. If you want to come, just bear with me a second while I get all my things, clean up my mess. So I trust this guidance has supported you let's just tuck my things in my bag there's surprising how much stuff you can fit into a little bag okay (coughs) excuse me excuse my sniffing got a bit of allergies glasses on okay let's go for a walk back Oh, sorry, that's very close up, isn't it? Let's turn the camera around somehow. Oh, yeah. Oops. <laughs> sorry, I just got to climb off my perch and make sure I've got everything which I have. Uh, I got this way. Yes, yeah, beautiful. So the band, band competition actually went really well. I was really ple- pleased with how how uh, well I played personally and my role in the band I think uh, I played pretty well but I did uh, practice a lot so practice pays off we came second by two points and we're talking like 544 542 so there are only two in our event Um, but that doesn't matter I think we played really really well and the march was interesting we actually came second out of five bands i think and we had were c grade so we were marching against a grade bands and uh i think it actually went better than i thought i think corey captured the photo of me when i was trying to catch up when i was 